Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope you guys are doing well out there. Working on the Zebra Stripe Bad Cat kick guitar again. Got the frets installed and man, I gotta tell you, having the right tools makes the job a hell of a lot easier. So as you can see, I'm nipping off the ends of the frets and I'm pushing down with my thumb to guarantee that the ends aren't going to be kind of like lifting up as I'm nipping them off. Last night I ended up putting the frets in. I used some CA glue to secure them in nice and tight and they weren't loose going in. I used a combination of the fret hammer so my friends kind of heard me hammering away last night on Skype and yeah it was probably very annoying to them. But uh, and then I used the crimper tool, the press uh, tool to you know get to the ones that I was able to get and then when I got to a certain point in the neck I had to use the uh, uh, hammer and I'll show you going down the neck it's beautiful so I can't get a good angle with the camera but all the frets are blending into each other on both sides of the neck none of the frets have any gaps on them and using a rocker on them uh, there's very very minimal rocking going on so how do you test to see if your frets are secured in the fret slots, regardless if you use CA glue or not? Pretty simple. Find something that is metal, preferably something that has a rounded end to it, not something sharp to where you're going to damage your frets, and you tap on your frets. And what you're looking for is, even though it's not going to be a consistent sound because there's a taper in the neck, it's wider here and narrower here, uh, you're going to have a solid sound. It's not going to sound flat. A good way to test this out is if you have a fret end sticking out off your frets and you can tap that fret end and it's going to sound like a, a like a, not a hollow sound, but kind of a little bit muffled and it's just going to be flat. Take something like this and just tap on them. If each one of them sounds pretty much the same and none of them sound like dead, then that fret is secure, tight, and it isn't going anywhere. All right, so I'm just finishing up one side of the fretboard. These are really nice on the edges. Um, I like to having these tools. How did I know about tapping on the frets to see if there's a dead one compared to the rest of them the way they sound and if that fret is going to need to be either pulled or re-glued or whatever well i did some research i didn't want to make the same mistakes i did the first time on this so i kind of studied up on things again there's nothing wrong with admitting you made a mistake and uh as long as you can figure out how to fix it correct it you're it's all good especially with a musical instrument now there's a couple of things that you could do to fix a fret that's loose or not really secure in the fretboard. You can either pull it out, re-glue it, uh, but pulling it out, chances are you can possibly bend the fret or maybe twist it a little bit if you're not doing it the right way or having a problem trying to get that fret out. The easy way is what they call wicking. Now, you're going to have to prepare for this because uh, it is messy and you don't want to get CA glue or crazy glue or whatever type of glue you're using, which preferably CA glue and crazy glue is the one you want to use. But prep wise, you're going to have to wax the area on the fretboard on each side of the fret before you do this. Otherwise, you can't get crazy glue off of rosewood. Actually, you can't get crazy glue off of almost anything. Now, this is going to get finished as far as a clear coat goes, so I'm not worried about if there's like a little bit of glue here, a little bit of glue here. You know, I'm not worried about that because it's going to blend in when I clear it. So that's not a big deal to me. But on a rosewood fretboard that, you know, is not finished, it is a big deal. So what they tell you to do is you can get like a wax pencil preferably like a clear wax pencil or even automotive wax, the paste. And you put it on the fretboard on each side of the fret. And the wicking part of it is pretty simple. You get yourself some of these glue whips, 
put it on top of your crazy glue or your CA glue. And as you apply the glue into the crack between the fretboard and the fret, you can watch it get sucked right in there. Now clean up, you got to do it right away. With the wax on there, it's going to make the uh, whatever squeeze out or didn't soak in wipe off a lot easier without damaging the fretboard. So I'm going to go ahead and get this other side done and uh, yeah, call that done basically for now until I start uh, putting clear on here and then I can level the frets after that. 